All right, so today we're gonna be discussing the top five military simulators inside Roblox. Now, before I start this list, it's also very important to note that I'm not talking about arcade shooters here. Arcade shooters and military simulator shooters are two very different things. A military simulator shooter will emphasize realism and the overall experience within the game. Just getting kills isn't the milsim experience. It's also the tactical standpoint from it. The very realistic gunplay that's kind of slow. Unlike an arcade shooter where you're emphasizing the experience of just shooting people, running around. So games like Phantom Forces, Bad Business, Arsenal will not be on this list because those are arcade shooters, not military simulators. Okay, with that mumbo jumbo out of the way, let's get started. All right, so coming in at number five, we have a game called Eastern War. Now this game is the generic definition of a military simulator. It has a massive map and a few guns here and there. And as you see, there's plenty of things you can do. You can spawn in tanks, you can go on foot. And for this, we're gonna go, you know, in this nice little, uh, what do they call these things? I don't know, insurgent? I don't know, who cares? And just like in any other military simulator game, they have points that you have to capture and I'm gonna so kill this guy. What are these guys doing? I don't think they realize I'm the enemy. But yes, military simulator games like this can be judged by the slow combat. And oh, I can shoot him under the car. Give me your feet, give me your feet. Uh oh, oh no, oh no. I got one. Oh, come on, come on. Got two, got three. Oh my God, I'm insane. <laughs> but yeah, that's about a perfect representation of what this game's all about. Essentially drive around, capture points, and shoot people. It's pretty fun, it's pretty casual, you know, it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and move on to the next game. So this next game we have is called Blood in Iron, and this game is a military simulator, but it's actually a Napoleonic era warfare. So you have the muskets, you know, the flutes, you know, the teabagging in their spawn, y you know, you have everything. But this game is probably the best Napoleonic era game out there because it's one of the only ones. So yes, well, this is not realistic whatsoever. It's still pretty cool that people do have to communicate and, you know, be a team. Ooh. Oh, and just like that, peace is all over now. Look at them. Look at, look at these, look at these soldiers fighting each other. Aren't they so adorable? As they're skirmishing it out, let's go ahead and move on to the next game. Ow. All right. So this next game that we have here, this game is called Operation Overlord, and this takes place in World War II. Now, a little warning for the rest of these games. These next games that I'm presenting, these are all very, very close in the ranking. Like, I actually had a really hard time ranking these because these games are actually crazy. Like, it's kind of crazy to believe that this is Roblox right here, but it is. But this game is probably hands down the best World War II war sim game out there. But what I like about this game is that this game kind of accurately displays the slow paced fighting inside World War II and also makes D-Day look like a more than just a one sided battle unlike most games. It's one of these type of games that if your team is really good, you're going to win the game. And another thing is all the voice acting, the sound design, the graphics alone just make this game phenomenal. But usually what happens is a lot of these games have these awesome, awesome graphics, but don't actually have any gameplay to back it up. But this game is- Oh my god! But this game is different. This game has the accuracy, the realism, the everything. Uh-oh. Oh no, I can't see. I can't see! But like, if you just look at my surroundings, you can see why this game is ranked number three. And another cool thing about this game, unlike every other game in the world, is that this game actually has some pretty good voice acting. No! We're gonna move on to our next game down the list. All right, so this next game is called Deadlines. Now, Deadlines, in my opinion, is the most realistic game inside Roblox. Now, I say that and make this game number two. And because even though this game is like my personal, one of my personal favorite games on Roblox, I don't think it's objectively number one for these few reasons. Now, what's crazy about this game, which no other game really has, is the amount of customization you can do to your gun. This game quite literally has over 800 different attachments inside the game, and you can customize your gun like no tomorrow. So if you love customizing guns, you're gonna love this game. All right, so here we are inside the game and 
I would be lying if I said that this game was remotely beginner friendly because this game really is not beginner friendly whatsoever. Well, yes, aim is kind of important in this game. I feel like positioning and just knowing what your gun does and what situation your gun's gonna be in is way more important than actually aiming in this game. But everything about this game was very, very carefully made. From the guns, to the movement, to the absolutely amazing sound design. This game has it all. Okay, is he gonna die? Oh, I got him! No, I did not! He's still alive! No! Oh. Now, coming in at number one, surprising to absolutely nobody, because everybody knew this was gonna be number one, this game is called BRM5, and this is the greatest milsim on Roblox period. Now, it might not be the most realistic military simulator out there. This game truly does have some really good stuff about it. The biggest thing is unlike every other military shooter game where it puts you a player versus player, this game puts you against player versus environment. Now it does have a player versus player game mode, but that's not really the main focus. And there's plenty of things you can do in this game. You can go do raids, you can do quests, you can screw around on vehicles, you can fly planes, you can do an A-10 Warhog, you can fly a helicopter. There really is nothing you cannot do inside this game besides maybe, I don't know, hardcore drugs. But that's besides the point. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no, I might have messed up. Hey, excuse me, good sir. Good sir, relax! But as you see, you get money for, for killing AI, and there is a lot of them, and uh, you know, the AI, in my opinion, is pretty well written in this game. Oh my god, I am like, more vitamins, please. Flintstone gummy, save me. I would say the AI is reasonably well written, unlike most Roblox games where they kind of just stand there. Like, this game has, you know, they lean, they follow certain routes, they work together. It's easy for literally anybody to play this game. They offer free private servers, and it isn't really confusing unlike Deadlines. So even though Deadlines is more realistic, this game takes number one because it's more beginner friendly and way, way more ambitious. Okay, well, apparently um, our hostage is literally God. So yeah, that was my list. Let me know what you think in the comments if you agree or disagree, or if you have games that you think I snubbed. Anyways, guys, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Let me know what I should do next. Bye-bye.